Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your July 2022 full moon in Capricorn reading. This is a super full moon occurring on the 13th of July and this is a very intense full moon. So the full moon energy lasts for a few days before the moon actually happens and for a few days after. Now the extra intensity with this one has to do with how close this is to Pluto. So it's not an eclipse but it may feel a little bit like one, okay? So you might be feeling extra emotional. You may be finding that people around you are a little bit more on edge than perhaps they usually are. And so this is a great time to keep lines of communication open and to just kind of tread lightly around sensitive subjects. Um, but with this extra intensity, it, with this full moon, full moons do tend to bring about surprises, do tend to bring things up to the surface that need to be addressed, whether it's something from the present or the past. Um, with this one, if there's been any kind of underlying issues, toxic situations, or things that you need to address that you haven't so far, you're hoping they'd resolve themselves or go away on their own, you may need to really focus on that. This full moon is also called the buck moon. So this is a time of growth because in the wild, this is when the bucks the um, are all growing their antlers. It's also called the thunder moon as well because it can bring about some change. So full moons are a great time to address things, release, let things go. Also a great time to make some sort of change in your world as well. This moon is landing in your second house. Your second house has to do with your uh, your money, your possessions, okay, also your personal values. So if someone's taking advantage of you, if you're not um, getting paid what you're worth, okay, or if you're uh, in debt, okay, then this is a great time for you to focus on those areas and maybe restore some balance. We have patience coming in here for you, okay? So you may have some long-term goals here, right? This person here is looking out into the horizon, looking out into the universe, okay? So there may be something big that you're working on, okay, or those long-term plans um, for stability and security in your world. Maybe you've got a dream that you're looking to follow, okay? A little bit of patience may be required for you. This is a perfect time when we set our intentions, uh, we uh, let our intentions go if you're doing any kind of manifestation station work with the moon okay the full moon is where we do really let things go we can sometimes um set intentions at the full moon this one's probably a little bit intense for that but it all depends on how you deal with the moon cycles. so for some of you this is a great time to manifest things you can harness that extra energy okay but for most people it's about letting go and then just remember the universe has your back okay and there's wonderful things that are headed towards you but you may need to be a little bit patient okay so we don't create any more blocks you also do need to trust that the universe has your back and that there's great things happening for you and that as soon as you set your intentions energetically everything is already available and it's just a matter of time before things come to fruition in your material world but the trust card here is an invitation to really look at trust in your life do you trust yourself to make the right decisions to make the right choices do you trust that you're on the right path if not then maybe it's time to make some change do you trust the people that are around you, the environments that you're in? Trust is a fickle, fickle little energy, isn't it? Trust takes a long time to develop and seconds to destroy. So maybe there's you have some trust issues somewhere in your world, so you might need to resolve those. Okay, it's a great time to do that with this energy of this moon. Um, if there's situations in your world that you're embroiled in that you just you're just a little suspicious, okay? You might need to get something out in the open, but you also might need to look at making some sort of change. All right, so let's grab some uh, more cards here for you and see what else that we've got. We've got one flying out of the deck here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so there may be some changes in store for you, but that can certainly bring in a little bit of chaos in your life as well sometimes. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune, we've got the Lover's Card, the Four of Cups, and we've got the Four of Swords in reverse, all right? The bottom of the deck there, we've got the King of Pentacles, long-term stability and security in your home, your um, finances, your career path, whatever that is in your material world, all right? You might need to really take the lead and take charge. It's your time to take some action and to believe in yourself 
and to trust that you can make the right choices, the right decisions. The wheel of the year, the wheel of fortune energy, focus on your goals, but don't obsess. Go with the flow. We can stay focused, we can stay positive on the things that we want to accomplish, the things that we want to achieve, okay, but we don't want to obsess. We want to go with the flow. The Wheel of Fortune does bring in a new cycle for you of good luck, good fortune. You've got some good karma moving towards your destiny. Sometimes there's a faded element that comes in here with the Wheel of Fortune as well, all right, but things are onwards and upwards for you. This is a time of expansion and growth for you, but patience and calm energy may be required though, all right? Because whenever we do have a shift, a change in cycles, it does come with some uncertainty and it does sometimes come with a little bit of chaos as well. So maintain your focus, the star in the middle of that wheel, okay? Stay focused on that and whatever happens around you, just be open, go with the flow, try and stay positive, okay? It's your time of finding some answers, of finding new opportunities, opening doors for you, expansion and growth. So leaving the past behind, okay? I think some of you may have had some, a lot of challenges lately, okay? And now here you are and you're really back on track. The lover's card is here. So I think it's going to be really important for you to find a healthy balance in your world. The lover's card really does speak to finding that balance and harmony, not just within ourselves, but also in our environments and our relationships in, you know, our workplaces. Okay. And, you know, finances. Okay. A little bit of healthy, balanced kind of kind of energy there. All right. And so if you are looking to make any change, because the Wheel of Fortune does bring in the opportunity for change, growth, expansion. Okay. I think here that finding that perfect partnership may be really important for you. And why shouldn't it be right? We spend a lot of time, you know, in our workplaces with relationships, important people. And it's really, it's always beneficial for us. It's always healthier for us to have that connection, right? Things that we enjoy, people's who company, whose company we enjoy, or they understand us, or they dig our vibes, you know, all of those things, all right? But the lover's card does restore balance and harmony. So I think here that you're going to be finding um, that life kind of comes back into balance a little bit for you, whether it's you making some changes or whether just things are settling down in your world a little bit better for you. But the lover's card also represents choices. Choices, matters of the heart, following your heart. Okay, what makes you feel good? What makes you feel happy? You may have some choices to make. You have the ability here to attract the right people, the right situations, the right opportunities into your world. Okay, and uh, I think here to really get things back on track. We do have the four of cups here. Okay, so sometimes we have a sense of longing. Okay, we're not entirely fulfilled or content with our situation. And sometimes the Four of Cups energy does bring about the longing for something a little bit better or the grass is greener on the other side. Well, it's not always. Sometimes we just need to re-engage with our current situation. So if you've been feeling a little bit ho-hum, a little bit down in the dumps here, I think things are going to get back on track for you a little bit. Okay, I think you'll be finding new ways to infuse um, more positive vibes into your uh, situation, into your environment, your relationship, okay? But I also do think here that if you are looking for something new, okay, or you're looking for ways to improve your circumstances, I think here that the importance is going to be to be patient, okay, but also to keep an open mind, all right? Um, especially with this patience card coming in here, okay? Sometimes things um, take a little while to come to fruition, okay? Sometimes things look differently than what our initial expectations were, okay? So um, that may be important for you as well. Keep an open mind. Expect the unexpected, okay? But also um, in that Four of Cups energy to be open to different kinds of opportunities, other people's viewpoints or, you know, things that we didn't quite or weren't quite looking for or didn't quite expect, right? So um, that Four of Cups is, you know, really looking beyond what is in front of you, 
Okay, so keep that open mind, open heart, and I think there that you will have that opportunity to right some wrongs, to get things back on track, to get some more stability and happiness and security in your world, okay? We do have a Four of Swords, so probably your focus here, okay, is going to be on restoring peace, balance, and harmony in your world, okay? Because the Four of Swords in the reverse here can represent some issues and challenges on your path, okay? The Four of Cups can also represent a little bit of challenge here. So really focus on being grounded, being focused on, you know, um, making good decisions, peaceful decisions. Okay, Pete, that sounds stupid, peaceful decisions. Okay, or decisions that bring you peace of mind. There we go. That brings you in a little bit better. Okay, there may be a healing energy here as well. Okay, so maybe there's something that does need to be healed. Okay, something that you need to focus on there. All right, and you know, a calm approach, a calm, open minded, open hearted approach to things will really get you where you want to be. We'll get you back on track. Okay, we'll get you moving forward. All right, in a very, very positive way. I think things are going to settle down for you. All right, and um, but again, you might need to make some choices. You might need to look at the big picture. Patience is required. Okay, and you're going to get things where you want them to be. Let's get a few more cards here and see what else we've got. We've got the moon. This moon is bringing about surprises, bringing about changes, also bringing emotions, things to the surface. Okay, having you, uh, it's really bringing you in um, some possibly creative energy, okay, maybe heightening your spiritual awareness. The lover's card can certainly be where you're coming into alignment with your higher self. You're getting a deeper understanding of not just people around you, but also of you, your wants, your needs, your desires. All right, but the moon can really, really bring in a new cycle for you. The moon card does represent cycles in our lives, okay, as does the wheel of the year. So I think here that you've got a very brand new cycle that's starting for you okay so again whether these are minor things or big things I think things are just moving onwards and upwards for you things might be a little bit turbulent to start off with okay because whenever we do have that shift we do get a little bit of uncertainty okay so just weather the storm stay grounded okay trust your intuition and you'll get things done I think here there's also something here that maybe you've been afraid of and uh, maybe it's a fear of change okay fear of commitment fear of getting hurt right? We do have trust that may come in here. So there may be some underlying, the moon card really does represent some underlying issues. Okay. Um, your shadow side, okay. Your subconscious, right? So it's something that, uh, maybe something underlying that needs to be addressed. Okay. It's where we can sometimes face our fears. Okay. We can bring things to light and we can move forward, right? Face your fears. Okay. Feel the fear. Do it anyway, okay? Um, but work through some uh, some energies there. But again, you might be feeling a little bit creative as well, okay? So certainly some emotions there with that. But I think also, again, your spiritual senses may be heightened a little bit. You've got the Three of Cups. What makes you happy? What decisions do you make that make fill your heart with joy, with happiness, with positivity, okay? Teamwork may be important for you. Um, part Partnering up with the right people, with the right situations, all right? Um, collaborative kind of things, collaborative energies, all right? Um, you know, sometimes we need to find a balance with our social life, okay, and our and our other relationships, okay, our other worlds, right? Because when things aren't in balance, things don't feel good anymore, okay? So that positive outlook, positive perspective, and I think here that in the near future, you probably have something to celebrate, Okay, or maybe you're just keeping that positive state of mind. I've got the Page of Pentacles here for you as well with that Four of Cups. Okay, again, there's something here, whether it's some knowledge, uh, something new for you, or a way to make some improvements, refocus your energies, your attention here. The Page of Pentacles uh, usually does represent the first signs of prosperity. Okay, um, commitments, new people, okay, new and improved things in your world, okay, so I think you have the opportunity to find new things, okay, or to discover new information, parts of yourself, okay, and um, also infuse fresh energy into what may be a stagnant situation, okay, I think you're going to find the answers that you're looking for, so whether it's something new or whether it's figuring out 
um, some things on your path, okay? The Page of Pentacles um, can quite often, yes, it does represent something new, some improvements. It can represent your quest for knowledge, okay? Discovering some information, all right? But sometimes, you know, if you're looking for a big change, in an aspect of your life, especially with your money, okay, your page of pentacles, your money there, look at the big picture. Because this is usually um, like a smaller opportunity, but we've got the king of pentacles here, okay? Do a little bit of homework because sometimes you may find a new opportunity and initially, meh, maybe it doesn't quite float your boat, that four of cups, but take a step back. All right, it's not that every opportunity or everything that comes across your path will be, woo, this is exactly what I want. But make sure you do your homework. Just do your due diligence there because you just never know what potential something may hold for you. We also have the Eight of Swords here as well. So I think your focus here really is going to be to free your mind, okay, to find a peace of mind. Um, to face your fears, right? We've got some fears coming up, overthinking, overanalyzing, all right? And overthinking, overanalyzing things doesn't always um, uh, help us move forward, okay? Quite often, um, quite often keeps us stuck and trapped. So I think here that there's, you may have a, a propensity to overthink, overanalyze situations, um, and this keeps you stuck. So I think this is really going to be your focus moving forward, something that you need to let go of, something that you need to address, something that you need to bring to light, okay? Your ability to see the truth, get clarity, okay? To right some wrongs, to restore some energy, to make good decisions. But I think here that trust really is a factor for some of you, whether it's that you don't trust yourself, okay, or whether you just second guess things that happen, people, situations in your life, maybe you just second guess things to the point where you just, ah, get a little bit trapped, okay, so definitely something there to be aware of, but the moon and the wheel of the year, um, that not to mention the lovers, are really what is um, providing you the biggest impact right now in your, um, in your life. And this is what this moon energy is really generating for you. Okay. So I think here that maybe there are some changes that you need to make in order to free yourself. Okay. Especially if you're having any kind of financial issues or anything like that, or maybe you feel stuck or trapped in your job. All right. I think there's some important decisions that you may need to make, and this will help to free you up moving forward. All right. So let's get a couple last uh, cards. Woo, that's a lot of cards. Get a couple last cards out here for you guys and see what else we have. There we go. We get three last messages there for you. And these are moon magic cards that bring in affirmations for you. So there's your first card. I seek truth and act upon my realizations. Okay, maybe some revelation that you are discovering. All right, and then you need to act. There's your next card. I gather more wisdom each day. Yes, you do. Okay, even for things that go our way, we get more wisdom. Things that don't go our way, we get more wisdom. Okay, the good, the bad, the ugly, it's all part of our building blocks of life. All right. There's your final message. I accept and create more flow and pleasure in my life. Yes, just what we all want, all right? There you go, folks. I'm gonna leave that there for you. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If so, please hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel as well if you enjoy my readings. Uh, get that YouTube algorithm going that likes activity on the channel. So uh, help me out there, that'd be great. Thank you very much. Um, anyways, but I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.